everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah I'm Deborah and it's time for tea that's right there's always time to sit down and have a little cup of tea and I like to try a whole bunch of different teas um, today's tea is from the subscription box that I purchased called sips by and <clears throat> I get a personalized box every month now when I signed up I pretty much said I like everything send me all the things all caffeine levels, um, all flavors, because I want to try a bunch. Today's is from my December box. I'm always a little bit behind. And today I will be trying out this Pukka Puka. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is called Revitalize. Now, surprisingly, with a name like Revitalize, it's a very low caffeine. There's the beef. Now that was the five minutes because it gives you a steep time on here. But the mug that I'm using today is a little bit bigger than their serving size. So I'm going to let it steep a little bit longer. Yes, this is my Mad World mug again. It's one of the smallest that I have because most tea serving sizes aren't, you know, a ginormous mug. Okay, about the Revitalized Tea, it says one bag per eight ounces of water. That's about a 12 ounce mug. So, okay. 208 degrees. So not quite boiling is how you start this one off. It is a steep five plus minutes. So this is a long steeper, okay? All right, let's see if I can read this. Uh, what's in there? Cinnamon bark, orange peel, elderflower, cardamom pod, licorice root, ginger root, sencha green tea, spearmint leaf, clove bud, black peppercorn, all organic it says. Very low caffeine, a tea to invigorate you with a spicy flash of cinnamon, ginger, and cloves, an aromatic pop of cardamom, an orange, and a flicker of spearmint and green tea. Okay. I have to tell you though, I, I poured the water in here to let it steep for a bit. Oh my gosh, the scent of this, it's all me, like all the time. I can tell you that right now. And I have got my bag sort of attached. A nice long string on that bag. So I actually probably didn't need my little trick today. There's my little clothespin that says, I love my cat. Hook it to the bag and just set it down on the table like this. So that it doesn't disappear into the mug. Because that happens. Alright, we've actually been going now for about six minutes. And... I might just go ahead and take this out. Let's see if you can kind of see all the goodness that's in there. It is not a very dark tea. Um, I hope that there's a lot of cardamom in this. I actually love cardamom tea. I've had it several times at um, a restaurant, an Afghan restaurant actually in Greenville. They have cardamom tea and I love it. I have not sweetened this yet. Let's hope that I can actually find the sweetener packet that I brought over because it seems to have walked off. Who knows? But if anybody has been here a bit before, you know that super hot liquids just burn me to bits and yeah, it becomes very painful. So I'm gonna cool it off a little bit, give it a little, little blow. I don't know if you can see that color. It is very light in color. Oh, but it smells wonderful. Wow. I can, I can smell the cardamom in it and the cinnamon. And if you hadn't told me that there was some spearmint in it, I wouldn't be able to tell. It is just, just a hint. I like this one. The warm spices. They just totally do it for me. But I do want it to be sweetened. What in the blast did I do with my packet of sweetener? Who knows? Ah, there it is. It fell down. I was trying to hide. It did not want to be taken. My stevia. One packet. Put that in there. Give it a little stir. And I think this one is going to uh, get some vanilla creamer in a bit too. Because... Oh yeah, these flavors scream for vanilla in a good way. I, yeah, screaming might be a bad word. I don't know. Mm. 
it's nice with it, with it being a little sweetened because that's the the cinnamon and the cardamom and the black pepper really add <clears throat> a lot of warmth to it i don't mean warmth as in like heat and spicy i mean just uh, a warm cozy hug ah and actually on here it says you can infuse this for up to 15 minutes so it i don't think there's any bitterness that's going to be happening by over steeping this one so that's a good thing to know and let's put a little bit of the zero sugar vanilla creamer in there a it adds some nice vanilliness and creaminess and b maybe it'll cool it off a little bit so i can drink it today Wow, that is nice. <clears throat> the vanilla really just works nicely with the cinnamon. Um, I love cinnamon. And this is not a, a hot cinnamon like, you know, Red Hots or anything like that. This is a nice, oh, cinnamon buns kind of cinnamon. It is just delightful. Just stinking delightful. This is one that I would order. This is only the second tea that I've actually said that about in here. I've liked a lot of them, but yeah, I would order this. Revitalize. I don't care if it revitalizes me or not. That is delicious. Mm. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Do you like cinnamon? If you've never tried a cardamom tea, don't be afraid of it. It's not anything weird tasting or off-putting. And I'm not a black licorice fan, but there's black licorice in here. They use it to just give it a little bit of a counterpoint, just, just a little something in the background. It's not hitting you in the face with licorice, which is good because I really just don't like black licorice. There aren't many flavors that I just flat out don't like. That's one of them. Because, um, you know, I'm a fat chick. I like me some food. And this... This is fat chick approved right here. Mm. And yep, the creamer did cool it off just enough, I think. Mm. Y'all, that was yummy. No, this is not sponsored. <clears throat> but you know, if Sips By wanted to sponsor me, I wouldn't be mad at it. Hey, Sips By, I see you. Um, I enjoy my subscription because I enjoy trying new teas. You get four, if they're tea bags, you get four of them. If it's a loose tea, it's technically enough to make four servings. So yeah, you actually get a good bit of tea with this. I think it's a, it works out to about $15 a month-ish. Um, for me to be able to try all these new teas and not have to go and search out and buy boxes and bins of teas, to me, it's worth it. So yeah, it's a little bit higher budget than some of the ones out there, but I kind of like it. It's really, really yummy. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll bust into my January box next week. Yes, I already have it. They send them way on time. I'm just always, you know, day late and a dollar short for everything. So, you know, it takes me a minute. Thanks for coming by and enjoying a cup of tea with me. Remember, there is always time for tea, especially every Monday right around here. See y'all soon. Bye now.